Dombrowski says it's all an effort to call attention to her case, and the Attorney General promised to look into that case to the relief of Ms. Dombrowski. why she doesn't want to return to the community where she was abused, but her appeals have fallen on deaf ears, says she's becoming desperate because the order takes effect January 1st. Survivors of domestic violence will be the focus of attention. The Family Crisis Center will host a candlelight vigil starting at 7 o'clock as part of an awareness campaign. The center of the vigil will be the cutout shapes of 10 women killed as a result of violence in Kansas homes. Their stories also told on cards attached to each. So that people can see the 11 women represented here who were killed because of domestic violence. We also have the uncounted women, the Jane Doe's, um, that are not given a name, that were killed also as violently. The vigil will also include the words of many affected by domestic violence and will honor those who work to stop its spread. Again, the event is set from 7 until 8 o'clock tonight at Lafayette Park Banshell. The public is invited to attend. They didn't even consider domestic violence when an appeals court ordered a Pontiac rock woman to return to Topeka this week. We introduced you to Claudine Dombrowski last December. She was hoping Attorney General Carla Stovall would help her case to stop domestic violence. A Topeka judge had ordered her to return to Topeka where she had endured a number of beatings from her estranged husband. This week she's been notified that an appeal has failed. She is um, violence free and my daughter is four now. She's a healthy, happy, thriving little girl. And um, the message is, stay or lose your children. You have to find another means of surviving. You can't count on the judicial system. Justice isn't for victims. There is no justice in this case. And my little girl is the one that's going to pay the ultimate price. Because if I go back, I'll be killed. I know I will. And if I stay, she loses her mom. In addition to her fear of returning to Topeka, she says she has purchased a house in this area and has a good job. Her attorneys say she took all of the right steps in getting away from her abuser, and now a judge is forcing her back. They say they will continue to appeal the ruling. And her hosted a candlelight vigil last night. The event included firsthand accounts from survivors of domestic violence, as well as words of support and encouragement from those who work to stop the violence, and a special honor for those who are still in such situations in Kansas. We are also here to remember those who still live in violence, looking over their shoulders and hurrying children off to bed so that they might be spared. We honor their struggle to stay safe in an unsafe world. The candlelight vigil is another attempt by a local organization to draw attention to the plight of victims of domestic violence and to encourage all of us to do our part to stop this crime in our society by getting behind a local woman's effort to stay away from her abuser. After hearing that Claudine Dombrowski, a victim of abuse, had been ordered back to an abusive environment, victims' rights advocates have been joined by state legislators and the public asking for an investigation of the case and carrying petitions to stop the court order, an effort that has surprised Dombrowski. There were two classes at the junior college that, uh, from my understanding, I haven't had a chance to check on it, that um, part of their grade was uh, writing to the attorney general uh, and giving their opinion on it. All the workers um, have just been very, very supportive, and um, people I don't even know uh, from Great Bend Manufacturing and Fuller Brush, just on down the line, just employees, to have these kind of signatures in this small, of a, a rural you know, population, I mean, a thousand signatures in a metropolis probably wouldn't be any big deal, but to have people just come out of the woodwork and people are saying, hey, look what's happening to this person, you know, your signature might be able to help stop it, and, and it's just been amazing.
been phenomenal. Nebraska says she's appealing the court ruling the state Supreme Court not to the state Supreme Court, not only for herself, but for others of victims of abuse as well. As part of that, part of that today, hundreds of you hit the streets in a rally to stop violence against women. Among the people there, 13, is Allison Page to cover that for us. And uh, Allison, how does the march equate into stopping violence? It raises awareness, and that's really the first step that you need to take to make a difference. Between January and August of this year alone, Topeka police responded to more than 5,000 domestic and sexual assault calls. This indicates a significant number of women right here in Topeka who are living with violence. <laughs> Hundreds of people took to the streets, marching against violence. For some, it's a personal cause. The beatings actually started when I was four months pregnant. And they continued up until the day I gave birth to emergency C-section of my little girl. And um, it's very personal to me. Claudine Dombrowski was beaten with a crowbar by her abuser. And she's not alone. That's why it's urgent to bring violence to an end. If you don't, you're going to end up dying. You will end up dying. And the day I left, I mean, it, it will, it will intense, it will become more frequent, it will, and each time it's gonna, it will become more severe. With the help of rallies like this, safe our home, safe our safe our home, safe our domestic violence is no longer a silent crime. It is out in the open, and we're willing to confront it. And I think the community awareness really increases the opportunity to have these crimes reported. And it gives women like Dombrowski a chance to turn their experiences into something positive. What keeps me going and what keeps me strong is to be able to help other people who are going through it because it's so misunderstood. Alone, we're weak. State statistics show one in six women and children are victims of violence. Tremendous show of support today. Mm -hmm.